and all the pastors gathered together and looked at the text from Mark chapter 10. It's a great story in which James and John are getting a jump on the other disciples. And they come up to Jesus and say, Jesus, when you come into your glory, that is when you come into your power, when you are successful and you achieve all of your goals, we want you to remember us and have one at your left and one at your right. And let us be in your glory as well. Well, they did what any one of us would do. They're looking out for number one, trying to get that promotion, trying to edge out the competition, trying to get ahead. And here's where Jesus says, this is the different way of the gospel. He has these words, but it shall not be like this among you. For whoever wants to be great must be your servant. Whoever wants to be first must be last. For the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve and give his life. And so we were thinking at all three campuses, what, what does our community look like? That is, do we as Christians look and taste and smell different from the rest of the world? What's that answer? Let me ask you a different way. Should we, as Christians, look and taste and smell different from the rest of the world? The answer is, of course, yes. So why don't we? Well, we need some reinforcement, we need some teaching, but we also need something that transforms the heart. Come on Sunday, whichever campus you go to, 